Welcome to Enter the Unknown. My name is FJ, and we're back today with another random episode challenge video. If you haven't seen the first video from this series, then feel free to check it out, it'll be linked in the description. Basically, how this challenge works is we use a random number generator to pick an episode of the anime and then make a team using the first six Pokemon to appear. Then, using that team, we take on the best trainer in a given game. For the battle, we aren't allowed to use any items, the battle style is on set, and we match levels with our opponent exactly. The random number generated for today's episode was 198, which corresponds to the Heartbreak of Brock, the 41st episode of the Johto League Champion series. Or, to give it its original Japanese name, Nidorino and Nidorina, Takeshi's Rose Colored Days? Once again, a much better name. Okay, let's get into the episode. In the first few seconds, we get Pokemon 1 and 2, as we see Brock, Misty, and Ash strolling along with Togepi and Pikachu. After a couple of minutes, a Nidorina bounds into frame to get a drink from a fountain. That's only half of our team though. We get the rest in one shot. Cubone, Azumarill, and Venonat all appear on screen at once. Technically, Raticate's tail is also in shot, but the other three are prominent, so we'll take them instead. So, that's our team. Togepi, Pikachu, Nidorina, Cubone, Azumarill, and Venonat. This team has an average base stat total of just 329 which is the exact total of Trubbish and Stunky. In today's video, we're going to be taking on Red from Pokemon Crystal. The average base stat total of his team is 496, right between Golem and Zebstriker. Just to give you an idea of the difference between the two teams. Anyway, let's go get this team together. We start off by hatching the Togepi you get right near the start of the game. Nice and easy. Then we visit the National Park to catch a Nidoran female. Once we're done there, we go to the Goldenrod Game Corner to buy ourselves a Cubone. This won't be the Cubone we use in our final team though. We head to Kanto to buy a Pikachu in the Celadon Game Corner, and while we're there we pick up an obscenely expensive Larvitar. Then we return to Goldenrod to breed our final Cubone. By putting a female Cubone and male Larvitar in the daycare, we can hatch a baby Cubone with a Rock Slide and Screech. Thanks to the day-night cycle in Crystal, we then have to wait 8 hours before we can catch Venonat and Maril. With that, we've got our 6 team members, we just need to evolve a couple of Pokemon. At level 16, Nidoran evolves into Nidorina, and at 18, our Maril evolves into Azumarill. With the 6 correct Pokemon, we just need to grind everyone up about 60 levels, so that should be fun. Once we're all done, we've matched Red's levels exactly, and this is what the team looks like. Cubone is level 81 with Earthquake, Screech, Swagger, and Rock Slide. Azumarill is level 77 with Surf, Rest, Sleep, Talk, and Blizzard. Nidorina has Return, Toxic, Bite, and Blizzard and is also at level 77. Our third level 77 is Pikachu, whose moveset consists of Thunder, Double Team, Light Screen, and Thunder Wave. Venonat is at 75 with Psychic, Sleep Powder, Toxic, and Sludge Bomb. And finally, Togepi's level 73 with Return, Charm, Toxic, and Shadow Ball. Okay, let's try to beat Red. As always, his level 81 Pikachu is up first, and we lead off with Cubone. Pikachu can't use Thunderbolt or Thunder, so he has to go for Quick Attack or Charm. He goes for Quick Attack, which does almost nothing, and then Cubone destroys him with Earthquake. A pretty easy start, but Pikachu is by far the weakest member of Red's team. Venusaur comes in next and goes for Solar Beam. We counter with Swagger, which raises his attack two stages and confuses him. Luckily, Venusaur hits himself with Confusion, and after getting hit by Earthquake, goes for Solar Beam again. Giga Drain would have been a much better option, but I'm not complaining. Cubone takes out another member of Red's team. Blastoise comes in third, and we switch out to Pikachu. Surf does a ton of damage, but we live through it and get off the Thunder. Blastoise just survives, and even though he's paralyzed, he uses Surf again to finish Pikachu off. We bring in Nidorina to knock out Blastoise and take it down to a 5 on 3. Unfortunately, Red's Espeon comes out next, and we don't really have a great option to take him on. With huge speed and special attack, and a moveset featuring Psychic, our whole team is in trouble. We switch into Cubone, but two Psychics take her out before we can do anything. Azumarill is our next pick, and his Surf does a good chunk of damage. As it turns out, Azumarill is a bit of a beast, and we finish off Espeon before he can take us out with Psychic. Red sends in his Snorlax, and we use Rest to regain our health. 
We then just use sleep, talk, and rest for a bit while we chip his health down. Sadly, he beats us at our own game by using rest when his health gets low. Knowing we're probably not going to outdo him with Azumarill, we switch into Togepi. Using Charm, we bottom out Snorlax's attack and then poison him using Toxic. We get off a couple of returns to take Snorlax below half health before going down to Body Slam. We switch into Arena to finish off Snorlax and luckily he doesn't use Rest and Red is down to 1. Charizard comes in and we get off a Toxic before Nidorina falls to Flamethrower. Venonat's up next, and it does feel a lot like leveling up 60 times was a bit of a waste of time and effort. One flamethrower wipes him out before we can use a single move. This is it. It all comes down to this. One sleeping Azumarill versus one poison Charizard. After a missed fire spin, our sleep talk becomes Surf and takes Charizard into the red. A couple of wing attacks take Azumarill below 100 HP, but the poison finishes off Charizard to win us the battle. I did not think we would be able to win this one, but it turns out Azumarill is the best Pokemon. That's official. I checked. Don't check. Don't Google that. There goes another random episode challenge. If you enjoyed it, feel free to leave a like or subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.